Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode we're going to smash this uh, gathering of Dutch forces near the city of Brussels in order to crack this open for further advances and to march onto the city itself. So let's get cracking. The big enemy threat is from uh, the large reinforcement army that's got quite a decent number of um, experienced troops so we're going to want to make sure experienced slash veteran troops so you want to make sure we don't get caught out by them uh, but apart from that we've got a solid line reasonable amount of artillery we just have to take advantage of it so let's see the lay of the land um don't want to fight in the city some land over on the right is good so let's take my line. Actually, let's group my skirmishers and stuff together. Group my skirmishers and my grenadiers together. They'll deploy wherever needed. Let's get my guns right up front because they're going to be needing to move. I do like, I mean, ideally I get my guns up here, but I don't think that's going to happen. Guess back here will do. Yeah, looks okay. Enemy reinforcements are doing okay. I'm gonna have to target. I'm gonna have to deploy these individually because one of them is bugged. They've got an enormous gun team. So I guess I want something. Like this. Let's run them into position. My skirmishes and so on, I guess, are going to stay on this flank. My cavalry just advanced to various positions on this line. Yeah, because look, that is 100% where their good army is coming in from. Okay. Let's speed up time, because it looks like it's going to take a while. Any artillery coming in? Yeah, there it is. Six pounder. Heavy horse howitzer. Yeah, we want to try to get into position reasonably quickly. But it looks like they might just let us get into position quite freely, which would be nice. Once our guns are up, though, we'll be able to do some bigger damage to them. I mean, ideally, I'd like to be trying to engage that heavy horse howitzer right now but things aren't in position yet once you get our guns up we can start picking off their cavalry units I mean my howitzer is actually a bit close to my line maybe squeak my line up a bit Any of these guys in quick climb range? I suppose it doesn't really matter actually, because you will be targeting this Howard's team. You all will actually. Engage that heavy horse Howard's unit because they'll have quick climb and they are super dangerous. Away. Ooh, some good shots coming in. We've got one gun team. Foot artillery coming in as well. Hopefully they'll clear some out. Miss, miss. Go on. Hopefully this volley, volley from these guns, can do some good work. Four sh shots away. in that group. Okay, now 
let's get the gun the howitzers to start looking engaging other things my foot artillery can continue to focus the enemy artillery I think we're just gonna do some a bit of counter battery although the howitzers might be the only things that can reliably put shots against these guys see one good hit there would destroy so many guns Troops. So where are they setting up their artillery? Oh, killed a horse artillery crew. That's quite nice. Enemy dragoons are charging. That's nice of them. to engage these guys with shrapnel shock because by the time they've reloaded we might actually be able to hit them I want to see this come in first shrapnel shell exploded early so a couple of shrapnel blasts dealt, 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 dealt them killing low no, stay Stay tight. Okay, my howitzers now have to start engaging. Okay, go after the marines. You guys go after the pikes. Okay, they've dismounted, so I'm okay with my heavy cavalry being artillery sponges. When these guys are finished shooting, there we go. So when the skirmish is in position, they're both going to they're both going to deploy stakes just to provide a bit more cavalry defence. Down to three ho three howitzers, which is quite nice. I don't mind if everybody overlaps a bit to provide that, get that cavalry defence in. Something like that. Well, they're trying to, they are trying to remount their horses. Yeah. Not a bad idea. On foot, they were useless. Oh, that's a good hit. Marines, six, 188 down to 60. The, uh, the enemy skirmishers have been... Uh, the enemy... Um, pikemen, I should say, have been cut in half. Gunners start to shrapnel shot some of these guys that are advancing a bit close to our line. Probably the cavalry, because it's them, it's them disrupting our firing rhythms that are the most dangerous. It's a great hit, blew a hole right through the middle of them. Horse artillery is just going to run through our line. Nice of them. So the right flank is holding strong. They're going to stay the way they are. I think things are going quite well. Retarget my howitzers. Them. Yeah, 
Head pushing in. Marines, grenadiers. Drive them back. Reload. Reload like your lives depend on it. Where the goons charge in, they're only provincial cav. Second rank. Ah, so the mercenaries routed. It's fusiliers next. Fusiliers hate melee combat. These guys are just picking off some of the enemy here. Provincial calves going down, Swiss pikes have been killed. This infantry unit forms square, because they're about to get another charge from the provincial cav. My dragoons will go in after they hit the square. You guys all form into squares. I think how we're, we might be doing a bit of friendly fire here. Charge the fusiliers. No, you men form square. The fusiliers will go down reasonably quick. They do not, they are not a melee combat unit. Okay, get into position. We're engaging the Swiss line at point blank range. Quick climb is hitting the grenadiers. Awesome. Okay, switch my artillery, foot, foot artillery back to round shot. Maybe that's triggered their curiosity. Yeah, to start doing something. Square. Although there's enemy. Enemy units coming in anyway. Drop into square to enemy hussars. My howitzer's focus on that engineer unit. Crossier are going to go for my gem go for my grenadiers on the flank, so form square. Heavy cavalry ready to respond. Okay, dragoons, kill the provincial cav. Okay, all right. This is where it could. Potentially get a bit dicey. Try hold this corner of the line back. That's quite a lot of enemy strength. Uh, don't waste time on the blunderbuss shotgunners. Enemy Curiosity have made it to our squares, but then they died. Heavy Cav. Get over here and cause a bit of carnage amongst these units. Artillery. One engaged Dragoons, one engaged 12 pounder howitzer unit. Yeah, we need to start folding the left flank in. Charge down the hill towards the blunderbuss shotgunners. Drop a couple of units into square.
charge the dragoons forward. Okay, you guys withdraw. Skirmishes with no ammo. Uh, just the worst. Okay, so that's enemy cavalry shattered. Let's mop up these artillery crews. My masked dragoon charge has done the trick. Okay, now withdraw. Try to smack them with quicklime. Infantry guards, I'm hoping my the got the um skirt the, my skirmishes on the flank will deal with them. How it says you even firing? One gun's firing. Shotting the rest. We have to kill the six pounder horse. There we go. What I wanted was the the left flank to be wrapped up. We can push them up as well. Kill the enemy general. Storm my cavalry down the hill again. Redirect my howitzer fire. Both of them engage the garrison guards. So you know, one divert onto the conscripts because they're already shaken. Okay, they're all shattered. Bring back the cavalry again. Smacked by quicklime. I'm getting ready to fire. Don't think it's going to help them. Gunners engage the militia. We're getting some pot shots, pot shots off on our dragoons. But they are well out. Hey. My gunners are hidden. Switched around shot. Bombard. That how it's a team. One gunner somewhere. Oh yeah, good. There he is. Got him. Cavalry push forward towards the militia. Switch to round shot for my howitzers. My dragoons will mop these fellows up. So they're there going. Oh, where are the enemy? Oh, nuts! Down the hill. The collapse of the militia. Hey, enemy cavalrymen are coming back. Okay, so I'm okay running away from. Let's do this, run along the stakes. Everybody, including the new general, you guys all chase down those. Okay, you know it is everybody. Chase down the fusiliers. We don't want to give them a chance to escape. Although, although no stakes. Okay, you're you're almost good. You're not good. Run along the stake through the gap left. Okay, you come along. Okay, my artillery can't shoot anymore, but I want to make sure of it. 
I'm gonna definitely lost more more of my cavalry to there to my own artillery there. But still, Fusil is annihilated. That that's a quite a good win. The Dutch there have lost many men. We lost more men than we would like, but this is why we have that other re other army coming up as a reinforcement. Demand the surrender of the city. Okay, so they've not given it to us. We're not going to attack because it's the, the army to the north is what's causing the problems. You go... Hello? No generals, but we have some gentlemen. Sorry, Tiberius. Bang! Oh, dang it. Yeah, Paris is the capital. Oh, they are war-weary, but they're not bankrupt. Um, let's, let's repair the farm. Upgrade the army staff college. Siamo pronti. And then De Damiano, Damiano Penna. We can repair that because we're about to. Oh no, that's the. Uh, that's not the right army. I was going to use this army. Not that it makes much difference. The only unit that's de de depleted is this Grenadier Guard unit. So let's do it. I'm going to push them west. The army next to... Uh, actually, this actually can work out quite well. The garrison can fight them. And the army near Amsterdam can push west towards Paris. And I think Paris is the... Is the that will be the, the limit of the Dutch Empire. That's all they've got. Okay, this is going to be a good old infantry fight. It's good for us because they too have lots of infantry and most of it is rubbish. Gunners just sit back here popping off. Quick line. Everybody. Form a mighty line. And my grenadiers will bring up one of the flanks. Probably the right. And my heavy cavalry that push forward like so. I see enemy shrapnel shot going off. And howitzers. No oh, puckle guns. Fun. Light cavalry sharpshooters on the left, 90 of them. So this brigade can push the right flank. This force push up through the town to kind of just help provide support. Maximize our firepower on the right. To so mop up this unit, we can swing through. Heavy cavalry have to try and engage the sharpshooters. Right, the left heavy horse guard artillery. Blasting us with shrapnel shot. You men push forward. Should win this engagement. It's on the right flank. Okay, something like this. Come on, light dragoons. Don't don't you don't have to run. Then we'll get up into position. Give them a volley at point blank range as well. Excellent. Ooh, 
big enemy out on the left. Shattered, shattered. Okay, they're, they're all shattered. Awesome. You engage the conscripts, you engage that regiment of force back there. How it's a fire, attack that unit of conscripts. Hey, their light infantry has charged our line. Yeah, they are kind of doomed on the right. I was hoping you would break them, but you are not. Okay, there we go. Advance up. Light infantry is looking very peaky. They were still engaging those conscripts, but they, they're going to try and pursue my general. Are you get into position, help engage that unit of conscripts. Attacking in the center. As can you. We can rely on these units pushing up to secure the right flank. Bring my heavy cavalry back because now their conscripts have ceased the pursuit. All my artillery engage the hussars. Scripts are just scampering around. Yeah, they're broken as well. Bring my heavy cavalry to charge in the back of that conscript unit. That'd be quite good. I mean, line infantry still skulking around the back. But there we go. This unit you wanted to attack. You gave up. the light dragoons because they're picking off my men that's no good so, you know conscripts is going to be isolated and destroyed and we can start to move up and advance against the 127th you're going to fire into the flank of my infantry but you guys are going to be able to start picking off those dragoons. It's going to be something like this to just surround that unit. My new man about face. They're seeking the safety of the buildings. Lost a lot of my cavalry in the stakes. Classic. I'm pouring musketry into the dragoons because they haven't committed to their attack. They're just kind of picking at it so my guys can still shoot.
kill a handful more of them as they run. Although that's my quick line coming in. Okay, artillery fire, just to engage the enemy general's bodyguard. Because we're just gonna... Yeah, that's all that's left, so we're gonna speed up. Yeah, you better run. We're not gonna chase you down. Somewhat of an accidental engagement <laughs> with my general there. Well, with my general in general. Uh, but they have not got many men remaining. Heavy cavalry did a huge amount of damage, but because I didn't pay attention, they ran into the stakes and that was bad. So they can go back to Amsterdam. Um, actually, where's your weakest infantry unit? Let's... Okay, it's the same. Well, let's top up everybody else with one infantry unit, because I think we have might have a bit too much infantry. Because we need a cavalry unit. And at the very least, another infantry unit. Another artillery unit, rather. So let's get a rocket troop. Yes, they're good fun. Pronti. Pronti. Damiano. In marcha. Avanti. Actually, yeah, you, you auto resolve that last engagement. They probably got they always get more kills than they deserve, but that was a Yeah, that was a pretty pretty knackered army for them. Uh, okay, and then Amsterdam as well recruit a militia to occupy Rotterdam. Because we do want to keep this open for for our navy. So you're replenishing you're grouping for the attack. You can probably do not the same. Minus three. If I recruit a full batch of dragoons, Stockholm should fall into place. Everybody else is on the march west. That's good. Let's recruit a general in Venice because we need to start building or stop. Preparing for the invasion of Italy. Other than that, you can't catch up with them. We're trying to pacify Algiers. Things are looking pretty good. Although, if we if we take out the Dutch, it does potentially potentially provide a good avenue for the Americans to expand. Um, any tech to worry about? Next turn, we've got preserved foods. Awesome. But we'll probably get them onto. Machined rifling if they don't go that way anyway. Yes, troops for the front line. At some point we are going to want to push into India. Take out Dagestan. Invade Persia. Yeah. Hey, they're, they're gentlemen's dueling my rake. Well, I suppose if you're not very good, pistols. And the trouble is, <laughs> can never work out who my guy is. He's probably the one that's going to lose. He's not dead. They just embarrassed themselves. <laughs> Ah, someone else is try again. Is it going to be the same again? Oh no. Well, my rake, but well, it, it should be my rake just shot himself because that, that guy looked like the rake to me.
They're biting back any way they can, but it will not save them. The Venetians only have the power to destroy. We've got a reasonable amount of troops left still on the field. I mean, they are immediately about to be in trouble. Because next turn, if they don't attack us, we're going to capture two of their cities, which will put them in a very tricky financial position. The army that's landed off the Spanish coast, because we did have a peek into Spanish territory earlier, they probably won't be able to do much until we advance uh, from Morocco. And it's going to take us a little while to pacify this region. Which is okay. We've got other things to be worrying about. There we go. Soon as you kill one rake, another one takes its place. Enemy raid in the mines. Which was even with all, even with the, um, without the guns, we can't chase them down. We get closer, but not close enough. And the trouble is, that means he's probably going to destroy the church school. Ultimately, I, I guess, I'm recruiting Dragoons, so I should probably just recruit infantry. Because at least then, we can pr just advance on into Gibraltar. Can you see if you can take out that general? Edmundo Capitello. So we've got preserved foods. They've gone on to machine rifling, which is fine. Workers on stroke of Hanover. No, they aren't. Okay, Global Trading Company. Let's upgrade. Well, first of all, let's do construction. So Norway. Okay, that's built. All these are top tier buildings. Can't upgrade the military college in Moscow anyway. Get two units of Swiss line for you. Let's recruit two units, 24 pounders. You need some skirmishes. Actually, get a pike unit. Swiss Jaeger. So Swiss Pikes, they are better, but I do like the variety. Then let's get the Garrison Gargs, you don't have any of those. Let's get a Marine unit and let's get a unit of mercenaries. And you'll be well on me all way. Marsha Slock is upgraded. Let's recruit sloop just to occupy that port upgrade the global trading company okay keep the upgrades coming because we are just going to keep growing our military capability so we do want to make sure we just maximize that at every opportunity Okay, good. All that's been done. Workers on strike in Sweden. Don't care. Okay. New crop of military buildings in Istanbul. Just in case we have to worry about potentially being attacked. We probably just want to boost the military production in the Middle East in general. Just because we could get swamped. Same again in Baghdad. Signor si. In Signora. Avanti. Come on, there we go. I can't remember if we recruited anything for these guys. So let's just recruit some stuff just in case. Although it does not like it. Because there is an enormous fleet lots of fleets with lots of armies that will 100% be committed against us so we could just stack up 
more traits in the fleet in the port just to help kind of defeat against that maybe that's a bit too many to recruit in one turn okay so Al vostro servizio. we're going to assassinate that really good priest now you missed him in which case we probably want to try and attack generals if we can ah, you're not close enough um, but we do okay you can push right up to this bridge outside Paris you can push right up to here not quite up to the up to this gap here i don't want to push you that far you're going to attack well i said attack or can resolve okay they've been killed push forward okay so you can now push up to here that blocked off paris from sending troops in two directions eastward realistically that Who's that? Is that my... That is you. Okay, let's fight this manually because I don't want to deplete the port. I don't want to deplete the army that's um, blocking Paris because they may end up needing uh, every man they can get. So losing some in a lazy auto resolve is probably not ideal. So let's get set up. They've got one mortar. Other than that, their army's pretty bog standard. Our army is a bit weaker than usual, but that's okay. Just form. Form our ragtag line. Mass my cavalry as one big strike group. I'm happy to have my artillery just engage their artillery. Although how it's probably want to use quick climb because they're dug into these trenches. At least with quick climb. Yeah, there we go. Area effect. They've killed six of the gunners. Doing a lot of damage to the armed citizenry behind them. Push forward at speed. Going after my cavalry. Okay, so the enemy are in their trenches. Try to get around the flank. Get them to commit. Oh, get them to redeploy from their trenches. Okay, retarget my artillery against the infantry blobs. That's right. Give up your formation. Shattered, shattered, broken. Get my gunners to start softening up the next enemy formations at the edge of town. You can advance that way. My left flank just push forward. Actually, both my howitzers work on this one. Both my four artillery pieces work on the 75th. The unit of militia is wavering.
excellent. So we're advancing any position from the front, but we are also actually really working on both enemy formations at the same time. They're under concentrated artillery fire. My infantry on the left are going to be opening it, opening up on them. There we go, they broke. Fire lock armed citizen, arm citizenry unit inside the town has elected to return to return to the fight. Something a bit smarter here. I say that, but it doesn't mean pretty big damn. We landed good hits on that militia unit. That's why I'm hoping on my skirmishes on the flank can start to pick them off. Good hits on the militia in the rear. Have all my artillery attack the fire lock on citizenry. Because they have broken. They're in a bit of a pocket right there. They are not long for this world. Obviously, a garrison militia unit came back. Good. Collapse to building. Well, let, let, let it be known if you harbour the enemy, you will lose your home. So take that, Cologne. Although. <laughs> Say that as a as a British person, based on what they did and what happened in World War II, not necessarily the best thing to say. Oh no, it's Brussels. That's fine. I can say what I like, because they're the Belgians. Okay. You've got Rotterdam covered. Let's recruit another to occupy the naval hospital. And let's kind of assume we might actually be able to build some ships out of it. Bit of a risk. That is a good navy, especially got the Royal, Royal Sovereign out there. Yeah, my, my, my main fleet is committed to the south. Because I can't advance out of Tangier yet. Okay, actually, let's resist the temptation to do that. Well, I suppose we've, we've, got, we've just got them bottled up here in Strasbourg. We don't have to worry about them quite yet. Oh, my rakes are on the move. You're not replenishing anymore, so let's get a little bit of that do done. There we go. Okay, yeah, we haven't got to worry about taking um, Strasbourg immediately. It's more about positioning to take Paris. That's what I'm most interested in. Um, let's hit end turn. There you go. My troops in the east are, are moving up. You're going down towards the Middle East. You're heading westward as well. Got a long train of reinforcements. Uh, swap a infantry unit for a marine unit here. Wherever that was. Might have been Luca Comin by the looks of it. Go on then, Netherlands. What are you going to do? Are you going to try and reinforce Strasbourg? Ooh. Ooh. It's this river. Are they gonna, well, that's really handy. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll do this. Well, hopefully they don't screw me over. River battle, hopefully, maybe. Let's find out. 
It should be a river battle. What I mean is I hope the enemy doesn't... Um, they're not on both sides of the river. Or at the very least, as long as the bulk of the enemy are on the far side of the river, then I'm golden. But either way, this is a great opportunity to do a lot of damage to the garrison of Paris. Pretty, pretty tasty river battle. Okay, let's take three infantry units to protect the bridge because generally it's the ford you want to cover. And again, generally, gunners just can sit in the middle and open fire on whatever they like. Howitzers just sit here. Okay, let's get a block of infantry ready to cover the crossing and then a few units a bit of a reserve just in case they do screw us over it looks like that might not happen Form a box. Cavalry advance up here because it looks like we've got what we wanted. To destroy the enemy dragoons. How let's just pick something else. Put artillery. Engage that cuirassier unit. You attack that grenadier guard unit. Although, are you? You are in range. You might with full artillery. You might just start attacking their artillery coming in. Now let's speed up time until they're ready to commit. Force artillery killed one on the way in, so they've broken. Nice. Yeah, they're in limbering as a in a little artillery park, which is handy for us. Oh, our first catch of the day. Slaughter to a man. The provincial cavalry. Are they actually going to make it to our line? They just touched into it. So they are, they are engaging us with their artillery, but we should, oh, especially if they're going to limber up. Ooh, that, could, that got their cavalry to attack us. Now it says, quick climb shot. Attack that Swiss line coming in. So you might both attack that Swiss line coming in because the, the reinforcements aren't worth attacking yet. This poor block of fellows. Yeah, howitzers down to one gun. Although the other gun teams look, look, look like they're limbering up as well, which is great. There we go. We're on the road to Paris. You can't stop us. We hold this river crossing. You won't be able to push us off of it with such puny numbers. Engineers, 
conscripts. Well, actually, that pick. Okay, right. Two can play that game. So they just made it across. That's the end of that. Provincial cavalry. They've made it to our line. <laughs> Good God. How are their gun teams looking? Howitz is looking healthy. Another howitzer team come in. I think we killed their foot artillery. No, we didn't. They just stopped crewing their gun. It's not a bad result. There we go. I'll deal with you. Who's crossing now? The Hussars! Already started to break. You can make it to our line for a while. Now form square. We're going down thick and fast. There we go. Good hit. There's a hit on the crew. They've abandoned their gun. That's not a bad outcome. Try quick line there. You guys try quick line that you know Swiss line. Actually, one go for the Swiss line, one go for the garrison guns. Now it's time for the conscripts. For the, for the engineers and the shotgunners, you know, conscripts won't have any part of that. Shotgunners do look lovely. Who's next? Not you. I guess it's the first Lightfoot's doing a lot of morale damage on the way for, against enemy troops on the way in. Okay, I don't think there's any more artillery coming in. Don't run out of ammunition soon. Although, that's two units broke on the way in from Quicklime and... Quicklime and Skirmish Fire. Although, I, yeah, I don't really want to... Okay, right, when... There we go. Now we're getting some fellas onto the crossing. and at Paris thinking, why the hell did we join battle? We've attacked the enemy in defensive positions. Why have we done this? Well, there we go. Okay, the artillery crew have decided to recrew their guns. So just bombard them with artillery fire. Who's got any ammo? No, they've already run out. <laughs> Dragoons marching in. No, they've had enough properly this time. That's 
That's right, man. Dress your ranks. They want to march to your death in properly position. Yeah, not a terrible idea. But it does put them, make them very vulnerable to artillery fire like that. <laughs> So, if you didn't break my artillery, we're gonna, my cavalry, we're gonna cross and absolutely annihilate you. How about you? Okay, next turn, looks like we might be taking Cologne and Paris and destroying the Dutch entirely. Now you're in trouble. Let's see, if they bring their army south, that does give our army on the east coast an opportunity to cause some chaos. Savoy's so getting stuck in now with the raiding. Nice. Yeah, stop, stop breaking our schools. We're trying to make you good Catholic people. First of all, Morocco. Still probably want to go that way. Yeah, we don't, we still don't chase you. In theory, does that provide better garrison outcomes? No, it doesn't. You can really do with some priests. Okay, Norway, government building. Upgrade Bergen, recruit a sloop. Upgrade the church school, upgrade the iron workshops. Nice, we've done this. Call me. You 100% Catholic now? You are! Good! Send this priest on a very long walk. Although, no, you do. No, you are proselytizing archangels because they are still mostly orthodox. Not that it makes a huge difference. Again, this kind of thing, religious unrest, it can, it's not a huge deal. But depends what you want to do. Uh, okay, build a trade port, repair the trapper market. Get this rake over here as well. Upgrade the commercial basin. Okay, Finland. Don't really need to worry about grading all these markets or these um religious buildings, but sometimes it's just force of habit. Several Morsk upgrade that to a global trading company. Awesome. Okay. Siamo pro. Assedio in corso. Okay, you've got the city under siege. You've also got the city Sono under siege. So if I take you, okay, yeah, that doesn't bring in the reinforcements, but that's definitely going to be a thing. Although some of these armies are definitely going to position back to take out, to order 66. Well, we can take out Württemberg. They're hostile anyway, and they're a protector of Dagestan. So we want to take out Dagestan at some point anyway. And that Bavaria, that gets into, into a war. Actually, that's really handy. Gets into a war with Savoy, Italy, Bavaria, Stuttgart. So that's... We need to fight all of those anyway. And we need to fight Dagestan. So that's quite good. Um, but, looking at the timer, what I want to do is get ready to set up this engagement and then end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone.